The price of Bitcoin fell today down to $21,714 where it currently sits. In terms of my current open trades, I don't have any trades open anymore. I've closed all of my trades for pretty much a net break even, slight loss overall, but uh, to be honest, not particularly concerned about that because we can open the same trades again in just a few moments time when we analyze the price of Bitcoin and when I explain what I expect is going to happen to the markets. Because of course, why is this happening right now? Well, the very simple solution to why this is happening is quite simply because the US dollar currency index, this is the monthly chart for it. You can see today it's up 0.42%. A 0.42% in the US dollar currency index on the hourly chart looks like this. And what we're currently doing on, with regards to the US dollar currency index is we're baking out of a bull flag. That bull flag is probably going to come up, retest the highs again, and then... Over the course of the next week, I would expect that either it's going to break to the upside and Bitcoin's price goes down and closes that gap around $18,900, or it breaks to the downside. And if it breaks to the downside, bull market is back on, and this is not going to last for much longer. We will see this continuing to con like just basically hammer itself to the downside. If we look at the four-hour chart right now, it doesn't look like the world's... I mean, it's kind of like a cup and handle formation, I guess, in a way, but it, it's a really strong level of resistance is this. I'd be surprised to see it break. And if it does break, ultimately, Bitcoin's price will continue to decline to around $18,900. So I'll be looking to short Bitcoin in that particular case, which is why I'm holding out just a little bit right now. But in terms of the way that I want to trade Bitcoin going forward in the future, well, of course, Bitcoin's price is down. There's a very key level of support down here, all the way down here, sitting about $21,500. A break below $21,500. Well, what does that mean for the price of Bitcoin? Well, if we go over to the four hour chart, a break of $21,500 basically means that we come back down and we test this lower level of support here, kind of around $21,200, $21,300. Within that, you've got a whole bunch of liquidity within this range that you can basically test all the way down to about $20,500. $20, if we drop back down to this range, it'll go down to $20,500, knowing Bitcoin. And then at that point in time, should we lose 20,500, it's all the way back down to this lower control line here to close that CME gap. So that's where my concern sits right now for Bitcoin. But at the same time, I'm an optimist and I, I do really see the positive side of this right now, which is the dip is there to be bought. The dip is cheap. It's cheaper than what it was the other day. Confidence the other day was sky high. Confidence today is pretty low. It's amazing how confidence changes from a like literally a 5% move. It is amazing how many people flip-flop and it's crazy. Now, for me, I'm an unrelenting bull, of course. So I want to buy the dip at this point in time because I believe the market is on the turn. What do I want to buy the dip on? Well, first of all, I've wanted to buy the dip on tap, which is why yesterday I placed about 10 million tap buy orders around 50 up to about 57 Satoshis. And then since then today, I actually started buying again around 64 to 66 Satoshis where the price currently sits. And if you look at these walls right now, these are weak walls because now the price has come down a little bit lower. These are not worth what they were before. And ultimately, a, a buy, a sell wall there, it just gives somebody to, an opportunity to enter, a whale an opportunity to enter at these lower prices. And then as soon as you break past this next level of resistance, all the 70s are going to be pretty weak. In terms of the buy side right now, the buy side is not the strongest thing in the world. It's been brutalized the past couple of days. But these are all willing participants in the market that ultimately do will still believe that price is going to continue rallying to the upside. And if you look at how hard the price of TAP has bounced recently. Look at this. Look at this for a bounce. No altcoins bounce like tap bounces. Tap bounces harder than, I don't know, Gemma Collins on a trampoline. It is... <laughs> That's probably a little bit inappropriate. I do apologize for that. But anyway point is tap bounces pretty hard and when tap bounces it, it comes always back to the upside and also that's probably because you've got people like me that just go i have a lot of this coin i'm invested in this i want the price to go well so i will support my investment by buying more that there is a lot of people like me that are participating in the tap ecosystem right now that do hold a lot like don't get me wrong i'm an absolute tap whale but also at the same time i have a lot of bitcoin and to be honest, which one do I prefer? Well, in terms of ROI, because TAP is traded against Bitcoin, I'm quite happy holding my Bitcoin in TAP, essentially. And that's the way that I see it. It's the way that I view it. And so if TAP's price is to increase, then I make more Bitcoin. And if TAP's price goes down, I get less Bitcoin. But ultimately, I'm in from such a level whereby it doesn't really matter that anyway. And so I just keep piling more Bitcoin into it as and when the price does go to the downside. Now, I'm not the only active participant here. Bearing in mind that, yeah, I bought 10 million coins worth. 10 million coins is worth what? The seven or eight bitcoin i feel like i spent seven or eight bitcoin yesterday on tap something like that but that in terms of how high the volume reached that was only 
the volume reached like 154 Bitcoin volume yesterday on tap. It was like a four and a half million dollar daily trading volume on tap yesterday. It was crazy. So from my perspective right now, uh, I, I mean, I made the right decision. I know I absolutely, like, absolutely made the right decision there. <laughs> absolutely made the right decision there. <laughs> but other things that we need to discuss today. First of all, if you're not already gone to it, please go to CryptoSavingExpert.com. As you see up here, CryptoSavingExpert.com, exactly like that. Sign up, make an account. Best thing you'll ever do is make an account on this website because it's a bunch of free courses. Of course, I'm the founder and inventor of this website. It's a lovely website. We don't want your money. I don't want you to pay me for my courses. I want you to just sit and learn because all the time, as we implement some of the features on our website that basically um, allow you to prove that you've completed certain things and view your certification, all these other things, we aim to become accredited and if you become accredited it means your qualifications are worth something because our courses are accredited by an accrediting body and in that case it's not a complete waste of time you're completing these courses on this website because you will get awarded a certificate and we can then use that within our job hub that's coming fairly soon and that job hub will then be able to but basically show your profile to various different companies that are hiring crypto. So if you do want to exit the real world and join the crypto world, I'm trying to create a job portal for you to do that based off a qualification that you can get through this website that doesn't cost you a single penny to get. It's a really interesting idea. We'll see how well it goes in the long term, but definitely do check out CryptoSavingExpert.com. Bunch of different courses, well worthwhile. And if you want to know more about Bitcoin, for sure, absolutely. Click on the Bitcoin course. Like There is a lot of interesting things in here and it goes pretty in depth. My brother, he actually wrote a fair bit of it and he is very... Should we say he went to university for a long time? I didn't. I didn't go to university. My brother did. And, and you can tell because this is very in-depth. I don't know a lot of the things in this course. And I'm going to sit the courses myself as well. Maybe even do it on a live stream at some point. Anyway, going back, I was going to discuss a couple of different altcoins. First of all, Ajamu down back to three cents. But Daffy pumping a little bit back up now. 2.1 cents. Being down at two cents today, it was down much lower this morning when I woke up and I was like, sod this, let's send it back to the moon. When I did that, for whatever reason, then everyone else sent it back to the floor while I took uh, the rest of the day to work on crypto saving expert related things. And then tomorrow morning, I'll just send it back to the moon again because that's the way that it's going to be. And I'm quite happy to buy at these levels. I want to scale into Daffy. I want to scale into TAP. I want more Bitcoin as well, which is why I'm trading to get more Bitcoin. It's just calculating that correctly. So in terms of, I guess, Bitcoin and Ethereum trading levels to watch right now, on Bitcoin, the level is pretty clear. $21,500 break below it will probably start breaking back to the downside and possibly close this CME gap down here. At the same time, if we break above the key level of resistance currently sat somewhere around $21,800, then we can probably expect to come back all the way up on Bitcoin's price, possibly up as high as $22,500, and then kind of just do this for a while. Don't expect Mega Moon overnight. We're going to see that in the altcoin space though, because this is the point in the market where Bitcoin's price goes down, then altcoin prices go down, and then you've got to buy the dip on the altcoins because when Bitcoin's price bumps back to the upside, altcoins go batty. They go up by 30 40%. How did I get rich back in 2019? It was from doing this exact strategy of basically, oh, look, Bitcoin is dumped. I have Bitcoin. Let's put the Bitcoin in the old coins. Then old coins pump, sell the old coins, get your Bitcoin back. Wait for Bitcoin to dump again because in these ranges, it's pretty volatile. Just r rinse and repeat every single time. The key with that strategy is not to get greedy. So don't get greedy. Be sensible when trading. And of course, check out the links and information to Bybit in today's video description. Well worthwhile checking out Bybit, fantastic crypto exchange. You get up to $30,000 for free, all that good stuff. If you don't already have the TAP application, download TAP app as well. TAP app, you'll find a link to the top of today's video description. But on that note, guys, drop a like on today's video. We're trying to hit a thousand likes. I forgot to mention this at the start. So this video is going to do terrible in terms of likes. So please do drop a like on it. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Turn on channel notifications, especially if you are new. And thank you all very much for watching today's video. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Goodbye.